in between I was happy mm -hmm. around people yeah. mm -hmm. because I loved what I was doing but I was depressed. Yeah. So that's how I I just went overboard with the alcohol. I would go to the bar at 6 p.m. and leave at 6 a.m., go to work, ace it, do it again, all over again. Oh my goodness, yeah. you were an overdrive. Yes, mm. that, that's what kept that's me going. That's how you were coping. Huh? Yes, that's how. <laughs> and I, I don't regret the friends that I made that time. Mm. I'm not even friends with them anymore. Yeah. No reason, really. It was just their season and yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but I was happy and I was sad at the same time. But I thank God no one saw my sadness until until the last All Star. Like when I decided to open up. Like I just opened up on social media. Actually it's Snapchat because really I'm never on Facebook. Twitter, eh, Instagram, eh, I only have like what, 60 posts. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I opened up and then everyone was like, oh I'm sorry, oh I'm sorry. And I was like, why did I open up? Why? Mm. But Why, in you felt what it was too private to share after it was done. Yeah, 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 yeah. You wanted to take it back. Yes, because then everyone would meet you, and they don't know if they want to. Oh, they, they don't know how to. Ha okay. Yeah, mm. and then they're like, "Your mom is really sick, and you're really blasting." Mm. So they 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 didn't know what was happening. Okay. Yeah, I it, it was confusing, but your mom was here. Yeah, she was here. She was all over the place anyway. She, we took her to South Africa, we took her to Kenya, took her to India. But India was later, mm. 2019. Mm. She came back. Yeah, she was all over the place. What she, cancer? Throat, then it went down. So we reached a point where we've, we've just done the surgery for throat. And then the doctor's like, you know, so it has just come this side there. Eh? So we need the boobs off and we take the boobs. You know, it is now going into the lungs. Oh, it, it, no. it was just not making sense mm. anymore. Yeah, so that was my best year. But it was also my worst year. But it took, it, took, it took us through into 2019. And 2019 really got hard. Now I had the best year in 2018 at work. 2019 was, for lack of a better word, shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I slacked at work. No one knew what was happening. Okay, they knew my mom was sick, but I didn't tell them everything. What was really yeah, going. what was really wrong. I remember I left um, in January, is when you're planning for Rust and Rhyme and all, everything. And then Rust and Rhyme is in Feb. And then I left for like six weeks of Jan. Did you say tell anyone? Yes, did I you? did. Okay. I, they knew, mm -hmm. but I was the head of department and everyone needed me. And then this mom also needs me. So I was torn. And really, we are not the closest, like my sister, we are not that close in our family because of the gap and... Mm. And then it was a school, Yeah, we separate. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. So I left and I remember my mom was in a coma for eight days and I kept on saying and the money is piling up you know in very, very yeah in, in Kenya every day you have to pay <laughs> and it's only me who is taking care of her but how much do I have okay I, I got a few friends who would send me like 500k or my boss also gave me some money to take care of of her but it it, it wasn't enough I reached a point where I had like a work loan mm. and I just, ha and then my boss has given, and then I have a work loan and then I have loans piling up because my mom was in all, <laughs> parents, they just go to Fink and Pride and everywhere and they get loans and then I'm paying everything and then her medication. So I was, it, it was hard. You were just trying to. Yes. And then it reached a point where I'm like, okay, what do I do? So bills are piling up and she's not waking up. And I told the doctor, you know what? When it, tomorrow if she doesn't wake up, 
just just put her off. So I called back home. I called the village. I told them prepare. I started asking my friends the caskets, everything like as prepared. And then she woke up and I was like, we came back home, but she wasn't okay. However, I couldn't handle the bills. So we came back mm -hmm. and I decided, you know what? She can't stay in Entebbe. I can't take care of her and then do job. Let me bring her to my place in Muyenga. Mm. Now that was depression number seven. Because <laughs> I had to learn how to put in her catheter, how mm. to clean her, mm. how to feed her. I had to carry her. She was 180 kgs. Today, mom is 52. But at that point, she was 45. So she, she was born, like I had to carry her, clean her. So what I did, at work they didn't know. What I did, I told, I told our general manager, I told her, you know what? Every lunch time, mm. I'll be leaving for lunch. I have some stuff to do at home. So I'd leave work at lunch time. <laughs> Dash home. Dash home, clean her, change her catheter, feed her, everything, then come back and work. Like, I had that smile that everyone thought, oh, she's happy. But I was dying. I was really, really, really dying. It was just you? Sorry? It was just you? Yeah. It was just me. And then there's some point where I needed to travel for work, because you know you have Ulster here and there. And they need you. Really, because you're the only... Yeah. So I taught my landlord how to do it. <laughs> I was like, you know what, you're going to learn. Otherwise, I'm not paying you this. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, she learned. Bless her. Mm. Mm. So she helped. learned, she would call me and tell me, oh, mommy has eaten this. Or I had a nutritionist, so I had a meal plan. Mm. And I'd only leave for like, maybe I leave on Friday and come back on Sunday. And then bless my <laughs> nana girls. <laughs> They'll just come to my place and just like I'd come back and then mommy would tell me because she has she got amnesia, mm. so she would tell me. Tyra came by, and then you ask Tyra, and she's like me, not this week. I was there last week. Wow. So she meant Rautha or she meant someone else, but mm. at least I knew they were there. Yeah, they'd so, come home and check. Yeah, they'd come home and check, but that was the worst depression I've ever been through. How is she now? She's actually cancer free. Cancer free. We're now maintaining, you know, getting the chemo out. She's still tiny, but she has a nutritionist. Mm -hmm. She asked to leave Kampala because it stinks. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so she's at her country home, oh. wakes up in the morning and just looks at trees and just takes her chamomile tea. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she's she's fine. She's fine. It was a lot. I, 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 I remember reaching a point where my, my boss told me, you, you're drinking too much. Like everyone at work started knowing me for drinking, but bless them, they didn't know that was my way of coping. Bless them. So they I thought didn't you were know. partying so hard. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, yeah. They didn't know. Yeah, they really, really it. didn't know. But that was the way I coped. But at least you know. And when you look back, you totally understand it. Actually, I made it a point in 2020 I decided no more alcohol. Like you said, like you stop drinking. Mm. Normally when you get into that cycle where you're drinking to cope, mm. you either have to go cold turkey. Because I remember I took 30 days of alcohol completely when I realized I was also to deal with some issues. Mm. I was drinking too much. Yeah. And I had to just go cold turkey for 30 days to get control back. 
to be able to like you know I can't stop here because mm. one of the biggest things is you have one two three four and you want more yeah yeah there's a point where I'd I'd come back home from work and it's a Tuesday and I know I can't go out on Tuesday because I mean which bar is there going to no place open no? yeah so what I did is I had alcohol everywhere under my bed in my closet on my couch in my fridge the pantry side oh no everywhere you know that's like real alcoholism yes so i'll just take a shot just you know i wanted to move everywhere and just see alcohol <laughs> and just take a shot oh my god like it was everywhere at times i'd i'd, I'd, I'd get insomnia mm -hmm. and then i just wake up and just take like seven shots and I'm, and I'm okay mm. for that time and mm. then I wake up and then you know you had the time where you cry and then you think about everything and you're like oh my god what is that then you're like, you know what but alcohol shall solve it <laughs> everything will feel better <laughs> so wake up in the morning and just take a shot before you even brush your teeth just to mm, get that oomph and go to work oh my gosh yeah okay so when did you Start your beauty company. <laughs> Corona. Ah, oh, okay, it was here, here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I used to mix, mix stuff and just give my friends, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. Even at campus. Like, like I, what? To get like shea butter? I made my sister's skin my specimen of work. Like every day I'd look at her and I'm like, Katolaba, that kawane, let me get you something. <laughs> mix, 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 mix a lot of things and then give her MCG, manya, what, 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 I just used to mix a lot of things. And then it would work for her. Okay. So she kept on telling people, you know, my sister, my sister, my sister, my sister, she can get for you something. And then I, I used to, mm, my mom taught us how to do like body scrubs, mm -hmm. natural body scrubs. Mm -hmm. So like would mix like honey, lemon, what, and then put in essential oil. I've always been that kind of person. Like I want to work on my body. Mm. And coming from Jadel, your, your grandmother, yeah. right? So, Corona hits. We are at home doing nothing. Mm. And I have a lot of herbs and spices. When I'm cooking, spice and herbs. Mm -hmm. I want my house to smell nice, have herbs. Plants, my plants are herbs, everything. So I said, you know what, let's start this thing. This is something you had been thinking about. Yes, right? but I didn't have the time. Mm. Mm. So I said, let's start this thing. First, I mixed these body scrubs. Okay. Different body scrubs, researched about them, what they do. Started walking to Nakasero. That's mm -hmm. how I used to work out. Walk to Nakasero, get a lot of herbs that you have read. <laughs> On the internet and YouTube, Himalaya salt, Manyao, what? Mm -hmm. Peppermint, everything, mix, 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 put on your skin. It reacts and then you're like, oh, not this one. <laughs> not this one. <laughs> Go back to YouTube, search, search, research, what? Then I said, you know what? Let me just get an esthetician, maybe in LA or in South Africa or anywhere. Bam, I meet this lady. She does um, House of Oslo. Mm -hmm. And then I talked to her via Instagram and she's like, you know what, let's handle this on email. Mm. So she starts teaching me these things. Okay. And then I start posting my routines, my facial routines, my body routines on Snapchat. And everyone is like, can I have some? Mm -hmm. So one time I had just really done this routine and then the president said, okay, now you can move. Okay. Moved out of the house, went to a nail parlor, and then the lady seated next to me told me, I like your skin. Mm. It was glowing. Mm. I could also see it, like yeah. it was glowing. <laughs> so she told me, I like your skin. What do you use? I told her, you know what? These are things that I mix. I don't know if they'll work for you, but I've been mixing them for this amount of time. Mm. And I'm going to start this line, but I can give you for free. And you start with that. And you try it out. Yeah. So I gave her a lavender scrub and uh, a facial oil. Mm -hmm. An akin facial oil. And she had the worst akin. The worst. 
you know that akin that is in akin <laughs> and then on top yeah. there's like that surface of like a peel off mm. and after one month she had like the best skin better than mine really? and then she just she had good followers on snapchat and then she just gave me shout outs and then everyone just started oh can we have your product or oh, what i didn't have any packaging i didn't have anything i <laughs> you said were oh just my doing god <laughs> what do i do <laughs> so i went on i went online luckily i have a friend who does uh, concierge stuff so she does shipping in for you and all those things. Mm -hmm. So I told her, get me this type of packaging. Mm -hmm. I'll start with this. I know the packaging I want, but let me start with this one. Uh -huh. So I started with that one. The first name that came into my head, I just used it. And then the Forever Beauty? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we started from there. Okay. And I made sales and sales and sold out and then did stuff again and then sold out. You know... Us ladies, we have a few things that we don't like on our bodies. Mm -hmm. that make us uncomfortable. Yes. We don't want to talk about them. Mm -hmm. But I'm very vocal mm -hmm. about them on Twitter, on, on Snapchat. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that people receive them with love. Some of them don't understand them and I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. When I get the time, I engage them mm -hmm. and we talk about them. Some doctors feel like i've taken their jobs but i'm just helping the world oh my oh my. yes okay so they will come at me sideways because mm -hmm. i don't understand health of this and, and this and this and health this and all of yes, that. Yes, mm -hmm. yes but the good thing is that my mom and my great granny and my granny bestowed me with the knowledge mm -hmm. of herbs mm -hmm. and they gave birth with herbs before the doctors were here so I'm good. Thank you. And this is knowledge <laughs> that has to be passed yes. down. Because I was talking about this just the other day, that when we look at a lot of the modern medicines, yeah. where did they come from? And it's so funny, mm -hmm. the modern medicines have the herbs that we use. Exactly. So why would I go for a chemical? We can work together and mm -hmm. figure out something, but don't just say, don't just say mine doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I know where you're coming from. Okay. I know. All right. When so you're starting pharmacy, they tell you, keep the patient. So I know. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why you're doing the cosmetology course. Yes. So that you can So really I understand. decided, mm -hmm. because I don't know much of the practical and theory, I decided, you know what, let me go for a certificate in cosmetology, mm -hmm. such that when I sit and start telling people about their skins, I know what I'm talking yes. about. Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, I know the types of acne, I know the types, I know what to put in, what goes, oh, yes, mm -hmm. what to put in my product, I know which type of um, acids is wanted in the product, everything. Mm -hmm. I'm just learning and um, by what? We are in March, mm -hmm. June I'll be graduating. Well, this is exciting. So we shall be sitting and talking about these things <laughs> with these doctors. I need to let them know that I've learned something. <laughs> now I can answer your questions and yes. sound like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but I'm grateful that actually mm -hmm. I get reviews now. Mm -hmm. I get very good reviews. That's like there's, there's, there's a story of a lady that I'm just keeping quiet. I'm praying. Mm -hmm. It works out for her. Mm -hmm. But we started with this journey of acting together. Mm -hmm. And with her consistency and all the products that I've given her, two days ago she sent me a picture and I was like, oh, oh wow. Yes. So she'll be your testimony. Right? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. But we're still working a few things here and there. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping it works out for her, but I've gotten good testimonies okay. on body scrubs, skin care, mm -hmm. on steams, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. My goodness. <laughs> my gosh. She started her business out of her kitchen. Yes, out of my kitchen. Mm -hmm. So Forever Beauty, that's the page yes. on Instagram. Yes. Uh, on other platforms. Unfortunately, I'm going, I'm going to... You're changing? Yes, I'm going to change it. Okay. Do I'm you know what it is going to be? Or? Yes, I do know. Because mm -hmm. I know my, my steam products, my reproductive health products are all called Love and Light. Love and Light. Yes. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a contrast, but because of the fraud that has been happening, 
I'm going to change everything. Yeah, other people. Are yes, doing. and all my clients know, all the people on different social medias, I've been letting them know. Yeah, you have to communicate. Yes. Because there will always be people who try to take advantage of your work, yeah. of, of the name that you have built, the brand and that you have sometimes built. Sometimes I feel like, where is my ex? <laughs> Who doesn't want me to prosper? Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, I haven't even asked about this ex, man. Like, <laughs> oh no, I gave you gist. As <laughs> okay, what about now? You no said ex. Way. Are you in a relationship now? Am I in a relationship? Huh. Hmm. I'm looking for a politically correct answer. <laughs> no, by the way, I'm... Uh, <laughs> no, 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 I'm going to answer you, by the way. <laughs> Her mind is racing. What is that? <laughs> no, you're making it really awkward. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm. But um, I am healing. Okay. I, I am understanding. I a very bad experience. Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm healing. Um... I'm stepping into my femininity. Mm. I am understanding a few boundaries. I am creating them. Mm -hmm. I am understanding that I don't have to compromise myself. I know I want consistency. I know I want loyalty. I want respect. Mm. Okay. I know I want one who understands my love language and is willing to. And uh, I know Right now, I know I need one who knows how to overpay, such that when he needs credit, mm. I am there to give. Okay. So. Okay. So you have a new understanding of what a health relationship yes. means to you. Yes. And thankfully, I have been working on myself mm. for my husband. Oh, there you go. I do not need a boyfriend anymore. Okay. Yes. It, just it should be worth it. Right? <laughs> yeah, it should be worth it. Okay. So. Yeah, that's where we are right now. Thank you for joining me on the show. Thank I, you. We for could talk like me. for another hour. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't have another hour. No, we don't. Pleasure having you. Pleasure. Blessings. Blessings, blessings, see blessings. See the business grow. Oh yeah. And yeah. Oh. We thank God for your mom's health. Yeah, I do. For the recovery. That that woman has gone through a lot. Mm. She's gone through a lot, but I'm okay knowing I was there. I'm okay knowing I was there so much for her. That only gives me peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know if, God forbid, if she left today, she even told me, if I left today, I know. Like, she even calls you and she's like, you know, you're my best friend, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'm happy that she's, she's, she's stable now. She's stable. Okay. Yeah.